Hello everyone. I think I've managed to do this in less than six months, so I'm improving on my uh, speed between uh, videos. I just wanted to show you my uh, face today. I'm swollen around here. My eyes are swollen. Uh, I was at book club last night on the common and uh, it was very good fun and probably a little bit too much alcohol was consumed, but um, that's not why this is like this. This is a reaction to the heat. I do use a Murad sun cream factor 30, but when I get hot, I think something that we discuss a fair bit on both the Facebook page and the discussion and advice page is how perspiration definitely makes your skin worse. And so if I look bleary eyed, that is why, uh, because I think the sweat here and here I mean, it's quite itchy, but it makes me feel like a big fat balloon on a, not on a stick anymore, actually, no, <laughs> I wish. Anyway, um, the other thing I wanted to show you, which is a bit upsetting, but I wanted to discuss it, is my hands, right? So this is today, my hands, the thumb, this bit here has had all of those little white pus spots in it today. And look at this. And this one, again, can't bend that finger. And here my thumb. Left hand tends to never be as bad as the right hand. And that's probably because I use this one, you know, because I'm right handed, I do more with it. I really do think since lockdown, um, they've been so much worse. And it makes you feel terrible. I'm just saying this, not for pity for me, but to share it with you because I know that you sometimes feel alone with it. But you know, I don't want to cook. I don't want to wash up. I don't really want to do anything that involves my hands. And the only way that I manage a lot of times is with my favorites, <laughs> my cotton gloves. I got these from somewhere called Just Gloves and these are uh, a much tighter and more stretchy cotton than lots that I've bought and so they uh, put pressure on things like this which I, which helps me because pressure it, it's basically like um, wearing a second skin wearing your cotton gloves because then you feel like I feel like I can touch anything I can move anything um, without fear of getting germs into my wounds that kind of thing um, and then I wanted to progress on to the fact that I use my Dermavate uh, steroid and uh, ointment. But I've been using it so much uh, since March 23rd. And of course, what happens is it heals it. You feel relieved. You're not in pain all the time. You can do anything. And of course, then it comes back. Now, normally I am an advocate for steroid because it has helped me a lot and I don't have any real damage on my skin and I've used it all over my skin for 50 something years um, but this time I feel like the constant attack of antibacterial gels even if I buy lovely natural ones washing with soap and water my poor old hands just can't cope with it um, so at the moment I'm using tea tree uh, cream that you can buy anywhere because it's antiseptic and I'm just using that plus I'm using my normal emollient um, I'm just seeing how I'm doing but I would imagine things like all of this will not probably heal properly you know I'm not going to go through a year of not using steroid I can't go through a year of suffering with my hands in order to come off steroid like some people do and that's up to them and it probably works for them but I can't face it um, so all of the emollients and things that help, like the Cetraben, like the double base gel, which I've got here in its pump, and then, you know, I think I've shown you this. I mean, this is a typical doctor thing, um, but I like it better just because it's, you do have to reapply it a lot, but because it's gel, it's cooling, and I just need cooling. Ointments tend to heat me up, as in, you know, big, I think there's something called double base, um, and epiderm, things like that, they really heat me up. So although I have to reapply it a lot, and there is a 24 hour version, but I found it too sticky. Um, you know, 
those things are emollients, but they don't heal. And I just wish that someone would come up with something that one and for, firstly and foremostly stops the flipping itch because I can cope with having dry skin, uh, you know, and ugly, ugly hands, but it's the itch, the draw to scratch, to rub. I mean, you know, the usual technique is this, isn't it? And this, wherever you or wherever you can rub your hand. And so I wish that's what they could come up with, but they can't. And that's why I'm so anti anyone putting on either of the sites claims for cures or, you know, this has revolutionised my life because usually the person that's written that is um, going to make some money from it and I don't want people to make false promises. But I do feel sad that I'm much better. I have, you know, my feet and my hands, that's it, and occasionally my face. I'm much better and not everyone will have it lifelong like me. Um, but the hands bit gets you down, but I, I just feel disappointed, I suppose, that since I was born, the uh, way they approach eczema isn't really much different. You go to the doctor and they say, have a cream. Then you go back and say, it didn't work, have another cream. And quite a few skin specialists, consultants that I saw was very much, have a cream. <laughs> and so I've got to live with this. My family clearly get bored with it when I say I can't do any washing up. I can put these inside my washing up gloves um, but your your hands get hot inside any glove these are okay but they still get hot but inside the latex ones or non-latex they get too hot and then they itch um, so anyway I'm just saying you're not alone if you look have hands that look like this I know we've discussed this before even today I've got quite a nice little dress on right and I had to put a t-shirt on because I was sweating a bit under my arms because it's so hot here in the south and the perspiration was making my underarm itch. So right now I'm very glad to do this video because I haven't got a job at the moment because telly and things um, aren't really running, they're coming back. Um, can't seem to get a job as someone's glamorous personal assistant so it's nice to make the video and uh, do something but I can't even smile properly because I'm so puffed up anyway I would love it if you subscribe to the eczema YouTube um, channel if you want to I don't really put much up as most people know or just please give me some feedback and really what would be nice if we, we could compile some sort of database but not really of what does work for you nothing that you're selling obviously you know what I'm like but what you did find really helps you is always good it's nice to keep that dialogue going anyway I'm too hot now I need to put the fan back on and have a lie down so I'll speak to you all soon bye